Five o'clock, let's start the meeting. Uh, has everybody had a chance to look at the minutes? If so, does anybody want to make a motion? Move to approve. I can second. All in favor to approve the minutes from October 9th, 2022, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed say nay. Unanimous. Thank you very much, Donna. Nice job. You're welcome. Um, why don't we talk about the grant agreement first? Council gave us some wording that we need to amend a little bit. Um, the 20 year term is not in there. At one point he says it should be two different um, documents, the one for the right for first refusal and the other one for the payback if they change the windows within 20 years, but then Further on, he says you can have it. The agreement can include the right of first refusal. So I'm not sure why we need to make two. When you look at that decision that he gave us, it says the agreement can include the requirement of in reference to the right of first refusal. Is this in the warrant statement? The, yeah. the email about well, the warrant? This is, a, this is the app that at the end of the warrant statement. Yeah, yeah. Just checking out. <laughs> But he, has, he seems to contradict himself. The first sentence says the grant agreement, right of first refusal should be separate doc documents. And then he says, but the agreement can include the requirement of the right of first refusal. Well, are, are, you, are, are you reading the, that, the opinion that you forwarded to us, Alan? Is that yeah, what you're reading? Yeah, from- I think uh, there's, I think you can have the grant agreement have a statement that there needs to be a right of first refusal, to it, that there is and one. then and with reference to a document dated X, and, and give a reference to the document, or just to state that it has to has to have one. I think that's okay. what he's trying to say. I guess so. I. Is it appropriate for me to comment on this? I yes, mean, we're it just is. talking in the Absolutely. No, we're not we're not voting on the, the, the project anymore. So well, yes. it's gonna it's gonna affect the funding of it. But anyway, we're just talking in the abstract and not that's right. Mm -hmm. So have we seen the warrant yet? I haven't. No. I mean, I think the select board voted on it last night, uh, the, voted on the warrants, <laughs> no, not just this warrant. If there is a problem, it can always be amended at town meeting. Well, I'm, I'm gonna guess it's probably fine because Brian, it appeared to me that Brian was completely on top of the situation. It seemed yeah. like he was, but I don't know yeah. if he put in the 20 years or not. I hope he, uh, he had plenty of information that we were talking about 20 years. Yeah, several of us indicated we thought something was missing. Right. All right. Well, we'll have to wait to see the warrant and then we can go from there. As far as uh, the right of first refusal, I think that's what the town does. It's nothing the CPC does. The town's going to have to get the right of first refusal from the, the church. Right. So the process would be that, well, let me let me propose what I think the process would be mm -hmm. and tell me if, if you agree, that the town would vote at a, on a warrant at the end of November that would include a reference to the two conditions, the right of first refusal and the you can't ruin or remove the windows within, no one can Right. Ruin or, or review the or remove the windows within 20 years or the grant will be forfeited. But the we don't have to have the grant agreement written by November 29th, right? We have no, to would, we have to have it in process so that the church can get their money. <laughs> yeah. yeah no. is, is that is that what we think we're doing? <laughs> well that's I I went back before we left and, and looked at the community preservation website 
and they that's the steps they outline first the town meeting vote then then the signing of the documents and then the check um but in this instance well i don't know how complicated i don't think the documents are especially complicated for a legal firm will have dealt with these before and we have samples so i don't think right. it would take too long and and at least one of the samples we got was quite straightforward right right pretty short yeah yep. I, I, I i confess i haven't looked at them for a while one question i had on the warrant um wording it implied that the right of first refusal should go for 20 should go to the next purchaser as well for 20 years is is that what the cpc intended i don't remember that being discussed Good question but i would think that's what i would have intended just a question I, so I you have it's... you have seen a draft of the warrant i don't know that was in the lawyer's language oh, oh, oh or that's at least that's the way i read the lawyer's language which is a different thing altogether so brian sent me a note uh late last week to say well to confirm that the historical commission had endorsed the, the project and said did you did did you or the cpc discuss whether the 20 years should apply to the right of first refusal and i answered him and said I don't actually remember any explicit conversation about time frame and the right of first refusal. This was by email. It wasn't. Well, but personally, I don't see any it. harm in it. <laughs> you know, if if yeah, you think well, I had questioned that because I just didn't know. I said I don't yeah. think that was the intent, but I don't know. So because I didn't remember it being mentioned, but yeah. I mean, it doesn't cost the town money to have a right of first refusal agreement. No, right. and I don't think it's a problem for the church either. So, or or I would assume for the for the buyer, you know. I mean, it, right. Well, another chance. Everybody's in agreement that the right of first refusal goes on for the twenty years mm -hmm. and to subsequent owners. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Then it gives the town a chance if they want to. They don't do it the first time maybe they can get the funds the second time or something right. like said, yeah. right. okay good i should yeah just wanted to report that the window restorer thinks he can start the second week in december oh, really? yeah. oh. just in case we were intending to waste <laughs> some time <laughs> well he's already asked for a deposit which we've sent so <laughs> well, yeah, as no, long as I he thought, knows I that. I thought he would be happy to know that that uh, this uh, off cycle thing really was needed this fall. So. Right. Well, and hopefully he's willing to wait through the effort of getting a grant agreement signed and everything for this. Well, you know well the church is going to have to do it one way or another so um, right it's not right like you know it will mean scrounging money from a few places but yeah from his point of view the project will go ahead anyway good hmm. anybody got anything else about the, the church project the grant agreement right first refusal all right, we'll see what the warrant says. And if we got to make tweaks, we can do that at town floor and town meeting floor. Second thing we got tonight is updating, or at least looking at the CPC plan. I did get a hold of Wayne Hukoski, who's now the chair of the recreation committee um and he has never even seen the plan so i'm going to sit down with him go over the plan some of the things in the recreation part of the plan is outdated you know talking about building ball fields at hurley park well i think they've used all the space they can right down so that wouldn't be a priority for them anymore um would it make sense to have hannah sit in on that who Anna, the community development person. Yeah, my. She's the one who applies for all the grants. Yeah. 
Yeah. Sure. She's a, I can e email her. She's, Go ahead. Would be good for her to get more familiarity with the CP, CPA stuff. And, okay. uh, and um, she's supposed to be the land use specialist. So. Right. Well, I can uh, talk to both Rask of them. I'll forward like them a copy of the CPC plan. And yeah. Did we ever update the plan as far as when we last year we took out the part about APR and the 10%? Is, yeah, there, a clean, is there a clean copy of that? I don't it should see be that. on the website. It's not. There is? Okay. I, didn't look, I always forget to look at the website. I just have my marked up copy. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll, I'll send it to you. I'm sure it's on the website. Um, anybody else got any comments about the plan? I just had, I, like I said, I don't know if you got my email. Uh, I had sent out about some new maps for the open space for the rec, uh, for the conservation there. I don't know if did anybody get those. I don't know. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Yep. yeah, so a lot of them has changed over the years there. So like I said, a lot with like the Waitley Woods and a lot of stuff that has been more protected. So that one is actually be a good map because it shows a lot of the protected lands that are in Waitley. Okay. Would somebody be writing a, a new couple paragraphs to go with that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, when they came, I wasn't sure what if that was what they were for or not. Yeah, sorry. I so assumed. I had an old email for you, and then it bounced back to me, and then I had to re-find a new email. Oh. Got it. All that the plan has now for open space, farmland, and forest land is five bullet points, mm -hmm. which are good, right. and then yeah. priority will be given to the areas in this map. Yeah. So, I mean, my point okay, is there so are no there are no paragraphs now. <laughs> yeah, it's just the map, yeah, just the uh, maps of it. Uh, yeah, the map has just say it's just updated. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think there are a couple more APRs that oh, we did that the closed Ashburn. since since last year. Smiths. I think and, so. I, I'm, so I'm we sure we can Ashburn change that. Included. I think change that those acreages. Yeah, because I went with through with Scott Jackson. I think he has the most updated, you know, lands viewer and stuff. We went through all that. I think that has all those newer APRs and stuff on it. I'm not sure I got that, Andrew. So if you get oh. send it to me. Yeah, I don't think I for some reason my email, I don't think I it was the wrong email address or something. I don't know if um Judy or Donna can send it to you because I have some reason I don't have your right email in my accounts here. So maybe okay. I can try and resend it. I I forwarded it to Judy because I noticed that she wasn't in the and you got it right. Yeah, so some reason it just yeah it bounced I back. Got it, I got it from Donna. Yeah. yeah but. So so Alan, I will I will forward the same message okay, to you. you. Okay, sorry, yeah. Some reason my email was screwy that day or something. I don't know why it bounced. We need a new con. It's a while since we've had a contact list. Maybe we should do mm. another. one. Um, the only thing from the historical commission, I believe, will be to add those uh, expanded criteria for historic preservation grants to um, private entities. And Judy, do you want me to do something, or <laughs> or will you just do that while you're updating the document? You may have to resend them because my okay. computer died between. Uh, no, I will. I will. I mean, we have already looked at them as a group yeah. several months ago. I could probably find them, but it won't No, be no, no, easy. it's fine. It's fine. I hate to lay this on you, Cap, but is the housing? Yeah, it was, <laughs> the housing committee hasn't met. And uh, it was occurring to me that in our new iteration, I, I think I'm gonna maybe schedule a meeting with Hannah and sort of try to get an update and pull some of the more recent statistics 
from the housing production plan that they're working on now because some of the same language is going to be in the introduction to that plan. Mm -hmm. um, so I can at least, I think, work on that. And then, gosh, just with the timing, I don't even think that, I think we were waiting on the FERCOGS planning group to suggest what the next meeting date was going to be. So I, I'm 90% sure they said it was, that part wasn't going to be until January. And I'm a little loath to schedule anything out besides that right this moment but but i'll i want i wanted to talk to hannah about something else from that meeting and that process anyway so i'll bring this piece up with her and talk it through um in terms of actually asking for people to approve it on the housing committee at a meeting that's a couple of months from now what that i don't know that i could get a formal housing committee approval before. How formal do you want an update to be that way? It doesn't need to be that formal. Okay. You don't need to update it right now. I just want to make sure that the housing committee is thinking about it when they yeah. do start meeting. Make sure that your goals are still the same. If you have just numbers, that shouldn't require. Right. Right. Approval. You would think updating I mean, the numbers, but I just, I went, I clicked to the plan to look at the beginning and like the first sentence even talks about population and, and, you know, Fred Orlowski's on the committee and like we spent the first 20 minutes of our last meeting arguing about the current population in town. So I, I don't know, okay. I'm no longer clear what, who, what numbers are were agreed on that we should be using, you know, the ACS <laughs> serve. So you would think numbers would be easy and I can pull the income limits and some of those other things off, but like. I sent Fred the census 20, 20 I was just gonna say, there is a census. <laughs> <laughs> there is a census. <laughs> yeah, well, and I believe that the FERCOG had quoted something from the census in one place, but then they did use that community survey data somewhere else where they were trying to pull data from within it and yeah. distribute it, right? And and so there was a difference between the two numbers. And you know, anyway, there there were some issues about population. And I, <laughs> anyway. It seemed like it came from 2010. Mm -hmm. Right, what's in there now is 2010, but they were working on using 2020 numbers mm -hmm. from the census. And then I think there was a big discussion about, well, why don't we use 2021 or 22 updated numbers, which aren't the census numbers. And then, no. I don't know, that also played into it. I'm pretty sure that they're gonna stick with the 2020 census, but again, that there was some disagreement about the accuracy of the number. I Is that where you get the affordable housing numbers? Do you get the affordable housing numbers from the census? No. 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 Um, but I, Hannah and I can go over a couple of those pieces with the data we have that is solid from that housing production plan and, and use that. It should, everything besides the census argument, I think was already updated and looks fine. And it will take me two minutes to pull the income or to double check the income numbers um, on the federal website, because okay. I've done that a lot. I think I stepped on you, Judy, you have a question? No, I, I was gonna make a observation. I think that the plan should be finalized before we vote on any spending projects because it does establish priorities and things. Right. But that's so not, that's not, not until March, so. March, right. I was gonna say oh. that that wouldn't get in the way of us accepting and reviewing proposals, no, just no. making our recommendations. Yeah, don't you think? I mean, the whole, it's, it's required in the statute to do the plan and to consult with all the committees. So I, I think yeah. we ought to go through, through the exercise. Um, I think that makes sense, Judy. And, and I think, you know, in my head, what I was imagining was the housing committee in January. 
we'll have it on the agenda. I will provide it to people in it well in advance because there's plenty of time and hopefully we can ask for a vote that night. I mean, we'll see, I think. I don't wanna, hopefully that will work out okay. <laughs> Any other additions, subtractions to the plan? All right, I'll check out the rec department and Catherine will check out the housing. I have a suggestion for the wording on the application. I think rather than saying a specific time that it is due, the time should be half an hour before closing, close of the town clerk's yeah, actually, office. Okay, good point. Because that keeps what, changing. Actually, I, didn't see a, I didn't see a time in there, I saw a date. I didn't see that. Well, I managed somehow to screw up the, the um, last email instead of the old one said 3.30 and I just left it that way, not checking that Amy now closes, isn't there till four. She's only there till three on Tuesdays. And so it had to be changed to 2.30, which I tried to do in the second email and got Half the, half the change done, but I convinced Amy LaValle that it didn't need to be precise till later and we'll send out a reminder later. This, this email was just to get people thinking. Uh, and, and, and do we do we now rely on the town clerk to forward those electronic submissions to us in time? We, we then have a meeting the following night, don't we? Mm -hmm. Well, why don't why don't we make the deadline at noon so that we're not, you know, maybe so that the town clerk isn't always having to deal with last minute stuff. If we haven't posted a deadline, I'm just thinking about how many, you know, that she has a lot to do. <laughs> Is that would that be a problem? Uh, uh, no, I'm, I'm I'm even going one step further. Should we make it a Monday? We, yeah, we're, you're, I, I almost said that, but I, I didn't, yeah. Yeah, give us time to look at, yeah, the information, yeah. Well, that too. The deadline for the projects will be due. I don't think we can do that this time, though. Because you've already distributed but your. I already distributed this thing. Yeah. But, but, it all, it all, but for the future, for, for you know, if, we, if we're making the plan. Changing right. the plan in January. That's no right. We can do it. Yeah, we're not fixing the plan today. No. So we'll say this by the end of business on the Monday before the second Tuesday in June. On the Monday by the end of business on the second day of Tuesday in December. Sounds good. I think that's what we're talking about. And then Mondays you're going to have holidays. What happens? Well, that, yeah, that's yeah. Maybe let's leave it noon on Tuesday because. There are a lot of Monday holidays. Yeah, there is. Okay, noon on Tuesday. Everybody okay with that? Sure. And that'll start in 2023. Yeah. It's just going to be an update to our plan. But yeah, it'll <laughs> start in 2023. Mm -hmm. And what if some of us want to grab paper copies, depending on what the application is a, a couple times I've been more interested in trying to look at them not on my computer and I know in the old days I feel I feel like Alan you mailed them out once or other people like we, we used yeah. to throw them in people's mailboxes but this probably won't well, allow for that Amy always want to Amy Schrader keeps a pile of them down at town offices does she and so if I mean, people yeah. want to pick them up it's fine yeah okay and we can talk to her about that, but she has them available for the public in hard copy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's public information. It's true. Did we drop the requirement that they make nine, can they present us nine copies when they yeah, we, we dropped that? Why? Because we relied on electronic yeah. copies? Well, because during the pandemic, in the shutdown, it got kind of awkward. I don't, yeah, because because people were by and large sharing electronic copies. 
If we're getting them electronically, since we're talking about details, it's really nice to get one PDF with all the attachments that are part of it. I, I think I'm thinking about, without naming names, a couple of projects we've looked at in the past few years where, you know, felt like every day a different attachment was showing up and it was just, yeah. it's hard to keep track of them. Um, but that will be true, whether it's a paper copy or a yeah. PDF. Yeah, right, right, right. I was, I know, I was thinking about it before we got talking about the paper. Yeah. Well, it's actually easier to keep them all together if it's paper, because you can just use a yeah, binder. Well, well, when I post them on the website, I usually put the most recent whatever. Yeah. You know, if the funding assumptions change or the plan change or the drawing changes. But. I like paper copies. Well, we'll talk to Amy. I'll talk to Amy when I see her and ask her to make sure she makes Yeah, well, I'm sure copies. Amy can. We just say we want a certain number of paper copies, please. But Okay. I mean, half the people were getting the eight copies printed down there anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's all I have about the plan. We have a bill for the legal ad. Did you see that? Am I supposed to just go over there and sign something? I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, they, somebody has to. Um, you're the closest. Yeah, I'm real close. Yeah, I from the planning board, I learned that somebody on with authorization has to go and sign in wet ink. It can't be. It can't be an electronic signature. Okay. So, so that requires in person. So I, just I, don't see. Know, I, I don't know what it is you sign. Some, they, I guess they have a form that says this is okay. Okay. This is Amy LaValle or Amy Schrader? I think Amy LaValle, but I wouldn't I swear right. to it. Okay. I'll go over there tomorrow. She'll be in better shape than Amy Schrader will. <laughs> <laughs> Elections these days have gotten so complex. I was saying she was up till eleven thirty counting votes last oh, night. Oh, she was there longer than that. I'll bet Amy she was. was. Uh, yeah, I mean her her counting group was fading away by then, but she still had to do all the collation and go back and you know she does a nice summary that's up on the website. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> You see why it's taken so long. I mean, imagine if we were a bigger city and all those mail-in ballots. They were, it was about 50-50 in person and early or mail-in. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, sounds about right. Maybe it was more like 350 to 550. I, I don't know. <laughs> I think I, think I, I think got there. Right. I think you're right in the second one. I think Megan went in to vote and she was like 520 or something. So it must yeah. have been, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and the count was just the in-person voting. The right. count that if somebody read it, yeah. All right. All right, anybody know of any projects coming next month? I think the Snowmobile Club might be coming in. I'm not sure with what. Maybe to fix a bridge. Hopefully, fix a bridge. That would be nice and eligible. I don't know. Bridge, uh, I would hear about it. No, I even asked Stuart what would be eligible for a snowmobile club to ask for, and he didn't have an answer for it. He said he'd never really dealt with snowmobile clubs before. Yeah, well, I think he doesn't know that they maintain the trails. I explained it to him, but. Yeah. Well. Yeah, anyways. No, but I'm sure. I mean, like something like well, signage would be. Admissible. Yeah, that's. Let me think about that. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> the, the bridge, the bridge would definitely be eligible. <laughs> so, bridge or or building trails, right? Yeah, they might. Yeah. It, I don't. You might get into the landowner having to be the applicant, but it would certainly be. I, I'm. It, it, it was see. certain the project would be eligible and they could do all the work for who, you know, or, or yeah. in combination with the landowner, sort of the, the landowner and the architect or whatever building yeah. engineer. Yeah. The way mm -hmm. Kestrel did with the uh, Waitley Woods. Mm -hmm. 
Well, in that case, Kestrel was Kestrel is the owner. owner. Yeah, the yeah. Owner. yeah. But I think the the owner would wind up. So if the snowmobile club came to us and said we want ten thousand dollars to fix a bridge on Harlan Bean's property, do you think Harlan Bean has to be the applicant? I don't know. I would suggest they come. Or co-applicant, maybe. Yeah, yes. maybe co-applicant. Yeah, because um, it's his land and they're actually accessing his land. So yeah, he would have to be, he would actually have to be like a co-applicant, I would think. I don't, if it's, if it's something that requires an engineering study, they want, might want to apply for the, for the funds for the study first. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't think that the applicant would, or the landowner would have to be involved with that. Right. As long as Unless he or she is agree in agreement, and says yeah, they just have to have like a sign off saying yeah, we agree right. to let the club, the snowmobile club do whatever. Yeah, yeah, but I would think a, a a drawing of you know if it's if it's if it's a four figure bridge, maybe a, at least a draw. Mm -hmm. It's a complicated thing involving wetlands. Probably needs a an, yeah, yeah. an engineering plan. Yeah, that's what they had to do even for just a small brook over by um, the uh, off Christian Lane there. Yeah, it was like a ten thousand dollar project just for you know just to get the engineering and all that through. So well, it's probably a hundred thousand now. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> no. it's ridiculous actually. Um, Gone are the days of laying down a couple of telephone poles and putting pallets on top of yeah. them. Mm, that are just taking an old trailer or something. Yeah. 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 Oh well. <laughs> Anybody got anything else? I this think the match, match huh? announcement should be the match announcement should be next week, the fifteenth. Oh okay. Well, Stuart Saginaw's note about the twenty million finally being approved was certainly good news. Mm -hmm. yeah. You realize last year we got. 100% on the second round rather than needing to wait till the third. Really? Yeah. Wow. Well, I didn't know that. So I think it's not dependent on the 20 million, but I'm glad 20 million. Right. Did, did Conway pass pass theirs by the, or not Conway, Shelburne? Don't know. The, the I haven't BA? seen it no. yet. Oh, was Shelburne was on the ballot yesterday? Yeah. Okay. I didn't know that. They, um, their finance committee <laughs> voted against it. I think they're crazy. But I mean, the finance committee did not recommend that Shelburne, well, Shelburne adopt the CPA, which- I don't why, understand why, why. Why would a finance committee support found money? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the, the quotes in the paper- I'm not putting this in the minutes. <laughs> Stop recording. Yeah, Stop recording. Um, the quotes in the paper were to the effect that the awarding process was too complicated and there was, I've forgotten the other one, and the funding uncertain, I, I, I don't know, it mm. was a, they clearly had not understood, but I don't know. Mm. It's too bad that I, I hope it passes the committee there did a Really good job, I thought. All right, December 14th, five o'clock will be our next meeting. We'll look at the projects then, if we have any. Mm. If not, I'll let you know. Okay. Oh, I'm sure Hannah will have come up with many grants requiring a match. <laughs> okay. Anybody got anything else before we say good night? All right, nope. then. Good Happy night. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving.